Hey everybody, DeLong Shot Signatures here. This is episode 49 of my 2021 TTM Returns. This is the last episode of the year. Got in two successes to end everything off with. Got uh, a one-of-one one return from former MLB pitcher Vince Horsman. Uh, he didn't play that long in the MLB, but he was in the 92 uh, Leaf set, so I definitely wanted to get him. I actually posted his address to Star Tiger back in the day. And never got around to sending to him, but a whole bunch of people have gotten him back since then. So finally adding my name uh, to that list. Other one here is coming back from a college football player. I've had a lot of luck with uh, the Pittsburgh Panthers team. I've gotten now two quarterbacks, two wide receivers, and their head coach back. Uh, they've just been a really good team through the mail. I just saw someone got back a tight end from them today. So uh, curious to see what this guy does going forward. But this is a 2 of 2 success from quarterback Davis Bevel. So he is the, at, at the moment, backup quarterback uh, for Pitt. He was uh, Kenny Pickett's backup for the year. Um, he also included a cool Pitt wristband. Um, but he didn't get much playing time with Kenny Pickett playing so well. But uh, Pickett sat out the bowl game that happened, I think, yesterday. And Bevel was the starter then. They uh, didn't win the game, but uh, still cool to um, get this back, you know, right after that game. I'm curious to see what he does going forward because, uh, you know, I saw it as this will be Pickett's last year. He's the immediate backup. Odds are he has a pretty good chance at starting next year. And now with uh, Keaton Slovis transferring to Pitt. That's not a guarantee that he's going to be the backup again. But, um, you know, now it's kind of a toss-up on who's going to be the starter. But if you're transferring uh, in this day and age uh, during the immediate eligibility, um, you kind of go in with the expectation that you're going to be the starter. So we'll see what happens going forward. Really glad to get this one back. We'll see what he does. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a crazy year for sure. Um, I've only... Have some of it documented with you guys. Those who followed me beforehand know that you know it was getting really crazy there with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I stopped sharing my collection for quite a while there. I just didn't enjoy it as much at the time. I had a lot going on, but uh, got back to it. I'm really glad that I did. Hopefully, keep that going. Get a you know nice balance here and there with everything, and uh, hopefully 2022 goes well. Um, does stink. We did have some uh, bad news today with uh, the passing of Betty White. I don't really try to talk too much about, you know, people passing away um, in terms of like celebrities and, you know, who I have in my collection and whatnot. I I've lost a lot of people that are in my collection. I think it's like 45 this year. Um, but uh, definitely stinks, you know, to end the year off with that note. But, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully next year will be a little bit better. Uh, and everything like that. Um, excited to see what you guys do going forward as well. I enjoy watching your guys' videos whenever I get the chance and uh, try to keep up with them, but I'm not always the best at that. And uh, there's just so many of you guys, but I try to show my support where I can. But I really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, taking me back in the YouTube community and helping grow my channel throughout the year. Um, you know, haven't been back too long, but already the results have been pretty good. So greatly appreciate it. Don't forget, I do have an Instagram with the same uh, username. Check that out there, too. Sometimes I'll post the TTM successes there before I make a video, like I did today. Sometimes not. Might have some bonus content on there. But really excited to see what 2022 brings. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.